you know, there are many people that look at the North End as their bucket list. This is where they want to retire. This is where they want to get a vacation home. And for good reason, it is snuggled just perfectly between First Landing State Park and the oceanfront. The best strip of beach, in my opinion, in all of coastal Virginia. If you go south of that, you're probably gonna be getting a lot of jet noise. So the further up north you go, the less jet noise you have. And it is idyllic. It's beautiful and gorgeous, and there's a reason why people seek it out. So what does it take to get into the north end of Virginia Beach? Let's talk about that right now. And what you're gonna see here is there are a lot of what are called dual unit condos. Now, over time, the land in here has just been a precious commodity. And one of the ways that they can fit more people in here is on limited land space is to put two units on one building. Now there's no actual condo fees typically with attached to these. Uh, but you're sharing one wall. They usually do a great job with sound insulation here. You know, $580,000 is probably the bare minimum of what it's going to take you to get in the North End. The average over the last year, 2021, I think it was 954000 There's going to be a huge disparity from the bottom to the top. You'll see here, stay tuned to the end because the, the top end of this is almost 10 times of what we're looking at. But if you're like, hey, I just, what, what does it take? What does it take to get in here? This is where we're starting. So I looked down at the pictures. You can see here on the photo, it shows, it points out exactly where it's at. Like when you're looking at the north end, it's split by Atlantic Avenue. Um, and on to be on the west side of Atlantic Avenue, which is nestled up right against First Landing State Park. Um, it's usually a little bit cheaper if you go on to the east side of Atlantic and being closer to the ocean front, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive and you'll see that reflected in all four properties that we're looking at today. So this one is on the west side of Atlantic on closer to the park um, and the park is absolutely gorgeous. There's lots of walking in there that you can do uh, and you can see that this is kind of a smaller you know, condo unit. They do, most of these units have showers on the outside. So you, know, you go wash all that sand off before you come inside and track it all through the house. Um, and they've got great landscaping at $580,000, to be honest, this is a gem of a little property. Uh, you can see that they've taken extremely well cared. There's not as much maybe woodwork or trim work um, at this price point, but you can see how well taken care of it is. The, you know, you've got a real woodworking fireplace. You've got subway tile on the, you know, the backsplash of the kitchen. You still got granite. Um, it's a little bit of a smaller kitchen, but again, it's 1300 square feet. What do you expect? Uh, so keep rolling through this. Uh, you can see that the bathrooms are nice and updated. They've put some luxury vinyl plank throughout the, the units. It looks really good. Some carpet upstairs, which is typical, you know, when you want to keep the noise down from conveying from the second floor down to the first floor. Uh, and these are about normal size bedrooms. You can see they have a primary suite with a, a bathroom attached there. It looks like it's not attached to the hallway. A nice large tiled shower. Again, it's, it's nice. It's not like the nicest of everything, but again, this is kind of the buried entry. The majority of the value is tied up in the land. Sean and I just wrapped up a listing tour where the builder had said that the land alone had cost him $600,000 to purchase. And then he had to go up from there. The tile job looks really good. I like that. It looks I mean, black and white aesthetic with kind of like the marble is super popular today. So this is kind of normal. You got great landscaping or maybe the word I'm looking for is hardscaping in the backyard, um, which is nicer than concrete when they just go through concrete and they do the kind of this this, they stamp the concrete. When you have people that go and they spend the extra money to actually go through and put stone in or pavers, I think it just looks a lot better. Um, but overall, this landscaping looks absolutely fantastic. Now, what you'll find here at all different price points is that nearly every single property puts a lot of parking uh, and they take it up. One, because you're not allowed to park in front of people's units and, and block driveways. So one of the ways they keep people from coming in and basically using all the area to park to access the beaches, they put a huge wide berth parking. Plus a lot of people use these and they will per buy them and then rent them out when they're not using to kind of offset the costs. And usually you need extra parking if you're gonna do that because you have two or sometimes three families that are coming into town to rent out these units to access and have you know that week at the beach. Rolling on to number two, this is 211 79th Street. I believe this is about 2,600 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half baths. Uh, this is still on the west. Yeah, this is still on the west side of uh, Atlantic there. This is right around the 837,000 mark. This one is also sold here within the last year. This is kind of a great example of what coastal architecture tends to come about. Um, 
and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You've got plantation shutters, a little bit of a deeper driveway, uh, and some architectural details you didn't see around the 580 mark. So let's take a look at these photos real quick and see what we've got going on here. Again, great landscaping throughout. I love the blue that they have on the door. You have a transom and side lights on the, uh, the front door there, which gives it a lot of natural light coming in. A nice black and white tile coming in. I love the fixtures and the plantation shutters that they have in here. The primary suite is gorgeous. Uh, these floors, I love the black wood. You can see it behind me here on, on, on video. I absolutely adore this look. Uh, I believe the, the Japanese style is called Shoshugiban, so I'm probably mispronouncing that, but it, it's the burnt wood look. I think it looks absolutely awesome. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it looks like they have a nice little sunroom here right off the primary suite with a little piano. How cool is that and romantic. A nice soaking tub, master or primary suite is fantastic. You got two vanities plus a shower in there. I love this great room. You've got wonderful built-ins on either side of the fireplace with a really tall ceiling. Um, it looks like they have built-in lighting in the, uh, the built-ins, which is another little nice little touch. I know that's not cheap to do. And they've got this cool brass hardware on the doors that matches the, the light in the great room. I think that looks fantastic. Plantation shutters throughout, I think, is just such a nice touch if you want to give a sense of privacy because you're, you're tucked in tight here in the north end. Um, it's nice to be able to let in as much light as possible, but at the same time, have some privacy. Again, just kind of carrying throughout, I see the dining room, lots of natural light. You can see the lights turned on, but there's so much light in here. I love this architectural detail with uh, across the beam and across the head beam they have open, so it gives it kind of, a, again, more light. It still gives a sense of barrier or space, but at the same time, you get a, it's kind of airy and light. Nice, huge kitchen. Got a great stainless steel package in here with an island. You've got uh, stone, it looks like there in the center island, and then a black stone on the, uh, the surrounding countertops with a great like stainless steel range hood. It looks like they have gas in there. Uh, I'm a big fan of the kitchen. I think they did a great job designing. Whoever the designer on this did an excellent, excellent job. And I absolutely adore that butler's pantry. I am a sucker, absolute sucker for like a butler's pantry slash like liquor cabinet that's done well. I just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm getting all these grays in my hair, but it's just kind of like, for me, maybe it's just I was like, I've made it. I have a butler's pantry. I'm a big fan of all this outside seating, especially since it's covered and it's got fans. If you know coastal Virginia at all, um, sometimes you need to retreat indoors to get out of that humidity. Um, but it is really nice to be able to sit under a front porch, especially with fans. It helps kind of keep some of the bugs away, but at the same time, you're not under the scorching sun because it is nice to go out there on those rocking chairs with a cold glass of something to drink uh, and, uh, and sit out there on that porch life. Okay, interesting. In the It looks like in the hall bathroom here, they've used wallpaper. I've seen a big resurgence on this. I think this is kind of making a big comeback. To be honest, I used to hate wallpaper. Um, however, I think that they are very tastefully being brought back. Now, this is a very big subjective thing that comes into homes, but I think when it's done well, and the other thing is nice, it's easy to pull out and put in new wallpaper, but I, I actually kind of like this one. See, now this right here, I think is someone who has tastefully, just perfectly executed on the space. The landscaping here with this concrete fireplace and the Adirondack chair, Ad 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 Adirondack? Adirondack. Adirondack to chairs. With the gravel and the slate, ah, this is a space that I would not leave. I freaking love this. And then here at the very end, uh, you can see they have a garage. This is a precious commodity in the North End. All right, rolling up to the next price point, this sold just over $1.3 million. It's about the same amount of space as the prior one, but this is a perfect example of something that's slightly newer, slightly more new construction, and it is on the east side of Atlantic. Even though it's right on the Atlantic, you can still see it has a conjoined wall, so it's one of those no-fee condo buildings, but it is beautiful inside and is a great example of what sells. I believe this sold within like nine days, so you can see how quickly, even at this price point, things tend to move. Uh, you can see that it's really close to the oceanfront. I mean, literally, you can walk out your front door, and if, other than being literally on the oceanfront, you're really close to be able to just pop out, be at the sand, or be out on the oceanfront within a minute, maybe. I'm a huge fan of all the woodwork on the exterior. I think, you know, other than just regular, like, post-up, they decided to go the extra mile here and uh, put in some nice woodwork on the exterior. I think it looks really, really good. Landscaping is absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, obviously you've got a brand new roof because it's newer construction and the decking is nice and deep. It's not one of those shallow like um, porches or decks where you can barely fit a chair on. It's really nice. It's got plenty of space out there to uh, sit. Now this is where this place really shines. You can see that it's newer. I love the runner on the stairs. The color of the flooring is just perfect. I love the crown molding throughout, plantation shutters. You can tell that they had an interior designer work with them on the furniture and decorating the place throughout because it is just impeccably designed, gorgeous colors these like light creams and like aquatic blues um beautiful beautiful inside and i absolutely adore that coffee table big big fan built-ins on either side of the fireplace uh, which is it looks like gas here um, and you've got kind of an open floor living plan uh, I'm a big fan you've got both plantation shutters and uh, really nice curtains on the space to again give you that sense of privacy when you're looking for it now this kitchen is probably my style altogether. I really like light cabinets. Um, the only thing I personally probably would change is I probably would have carried that aquatic blue to the island. I like the contrast between the main cabinets and the island being uh, like a stark contrast or maybe a complementary color. Um, I'm a big fan of these pull-up chairs underneath the island. This looks huge. I'm gonna guess like nine feet by five feet. Absolutely enormous. The pendulum lights, great touch. Cabinets and cabinets and cabinets, but it still feels open. You have an enormous Refrigerator here, I believe that's Thermador, if I had to guess. You've got the double oven. It looks like one of those is convection. Um, the glass tile, that looks like a really high-end tile on the backsplash there. I'm a big fan. I just think this kitchen, this whole downstairs living situation is gorgeous. They did an excellent, excellent job. It looks absolutely fantastic. If you are a person who loves to cook on gas like I do, um, once I made the switch from electric to gas, I don't think I'll ever go back. I absolutely adore it, and I don't think I will do anything less than that moving forward in the future. I like that on the floor, you also have kind of like a pantry slash washer and dryer. Um, having a separate room to do all of that, plus a base, like a basin sink where you can pre-wash things because you know you're going to be out, you're going to be getting in the sand, it's going to be good to wash out all those trunks and swimsuits of the sand before you throw them in the washer and dryer so that that washer and dryer don't die within a few years and last decently long. Again, here's another one of those bathrooms where they've decided to go with wallpaper. Again, I, I think personally, this is a great touch. You can tell someone really was thoughtful when they went through and did all the decorations um, and took their time doing this. Primary suite, again, high ceilings, fantastic. You have the wash closet there. It looks like they have a herringbone style of flooring in there for it looks like high-end tile. That looks really good. Um, I'm a huge fan of subway tile. I like how they did the master shower there and they've got plenty of closet space. Looks wonderful. Uh, it's always nice once you get into this price point if you have uh, bad knees or um, up there in the retirement age, it's nice to have an elevator. It looks like they were, went ahead and put an elevator in here. Uh, so that's a really nice touch for those who have multi-floor living, which is probably gonna happen in the North End. So uh, if that's something that's a must, here you go, you got an elevator. And you can see, even though this is one of those dual unit condos, you can still get the shower on the outside. You can, they even took and did nice little architectural details on the outside shower. And you actually have a a good amount of yard space here. So if you want to play cornhole or bocce ball or anything like that, you still have space in your yard to do so. And you can see at the very, very tippy top on the back, they did this nice little spiral staircase all the way to the very top with two chairs and a little table so that you can watch the sunrise. How sweet is that? All right, saving best for last. I'm really excited about this one. We have $5.4 million, five bedrooms, five baths, just under 5,500 square feet. Uh, this is a gem of a property. I'm really excited to go through this one. This one actually is still available. It's been on the market for, for a few days. Obviously, this takes a very particular type of buyer. So if you want to go see this one and uh, it's something that you would potentially consider, give us a call. We can go and schedule a showing and get this set up for you. Um, I cannot express how excited I am about this property. Just look at the landscaping and the attention to detail. The stonework on the exterior is gorgeous. Um, I love all of the natural grain that is exposed, uh, both on the staircase and the beams. It looks like walnut to me. Um, the tile throughout the first floor is beautiful, um, and I'm a huge fan of all of the furniture that they've chosen for this property. Uh, you can see there is a, uh, a large like drop-down drapery that goes into that big space in the, uh, the living area to give it some privacy there. They have... Um, built-in audio speakers in the ceiling to kind of carry out that ambiance. If you want to put on some 
Bob Marley out through the entire house. You could do something along those lines. You wanna get those beach vibes going. Carrying on with like the open aesthetic, you have this big island, but it still feels big and airy. You can tell you can fit a ton of people into this kitchen. Um, part of that, obviously that 5.4 million is that you're on the ocean front. This kind of sea glass kind of uh, green that is on the backsplash carried all the way to the ceiling is beautiful. Big fan of the dual door freezer um, refrigerator that's in there. Uh, that's gonna carry a lot of food. And if you're using this for a vacation property and you've got a lot of people in this house, you're gonna need all that space for that food. Now you can tell they spent a primo penny on these countertops. The stone that they've picked out for both the sink and the countertops is exceptional it is ex extraordinary just just gorgeous now this is the room that i would spend all of my time in probably my wife i wouldn't be able to pull her out of here you've got a corner of two rows of windows you can tell they put a heavy emphasis into this room this is where you're going to get the beach view the view of the walkway up to the beach um, and you're going to get all of that wonderful sun um, and this is where you're gonna be sitting if you wanna enjoy the day. It looks like there are casement windows so you have the ability to open these up. I will say Virginia Beach in the spring and in the fall time when it's not as humid, I don't know if it gets better here. It is, you can open up those windows and this is gonna be a perfect spot to sit on those fall evenings. I am loving every single detail of this property. The woodwork in the stairwell is crazy. I mean, that, that right there, that shot right there for me would sell the property. That is so beautiful. That primary suite, or the ensuite, with that marble and stone that is into the soaking tub and the countertop, um, I mean, wow, that is incredible. It, you got like 40 billion shower heads in that shower. I mean, that, yeah, you're getting every piece of sand off that body afterwards. Now here's really where the money is tied up. When you want the best of the best, and you want ocean front, you want zero unobstructed views of the ocean, this is what you're paying for. That to me looks like teak decking out there on the uh, on the front, and then they went ahead the extra step and they put glass for, up for the railings so that they're under unobstructed views of the water. Um, this is what you're paying for. This is where the money is going. The outside landscaping on the bottom floor with the gas uh, fireplace and all the stonework that's out there, um, absolutely exceptional. Uh, and you've got tons of uh, outside space that you don't get at other price points. This is where, if you're wanting the best of the best, this is what Virginia Beach has to offer. I mean, I, I absolutely love the North End. I think this this is an area that maybe I'll end up retiring in one day. Um, it's gorgeous, and this is where people seek it out. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for basically price point reviews of other neighborhoods, maybe there'll be a link over my shoulder in just a second. Until next time.